We're going to start with some pink, of course. I like pink skies. I mean, I like putting pink in the sky, not necessarily a complete pink sky. But anyways, liquid white, in case you don't know, is what you put on your painting to make your paints blend. It helps them blend easier. Often referred to as a wet on wet painting. But this is not a wet on wet painting. And I say that because it's not over the whole canvas. And if it's on the whole canvas like I do on mountain paintings most of the time, then yes, that is a wet on wet. But this, I don't quite consider this a wet on wet. I'm putting this on with a one inch brush because I'm trying to keep my lines. It took me a while to draw this out, <laughs> draw this barn out. And I'm trying to keep my lines, trying to keep them from getting all messed up, if you know what I mean. And this is the one inch brush I'm putting this on with, but we're going to go for a two inch here just in a minute. Let's take some phthalo blue. I want all these collars to mix. Let's take some phthalo blue and put it all the way down. I got a picture that I'm, I'm looking, it's right here above my head. In case you're wondering what I'm looking at sometimes. That's what I'm looking at. A picture. And we don't always follow the pictures exactly, but it is a good reference. Good reference. You should always have something to look at. I mean, it, it helps. A lot of times I don't. And it's not very helpful when you don't. Let's take a two inch brush now. This is fairly clean. We're going to do crisscross strokes. We're going to start in the middle and we are going to work our, try to work our way out. And I'm going to try to preserve these lines that I have here the best that I can. And I'm going to keep wiping my brush off. I'm taking little choppy strokes to get next to this barn here. I think I'm gonna put. I might put some Prussian blue around the top. I just want to get some of this right here with this two-inch brush real quick, because I'm working around this barn, and it's a little tough working around this barn, trying to save your lines. This is definitely a different-looking sky. Let me take a peek at here. I'm just trying to get color on the canvas is all I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, we can make this barn whatever color we want. I'm going to take some Prussian blue, some brown, some white. I don't know what color this is going to make. Take some black. Let's see what that, yeah, see that's not too bad of a color, barn color right there. Maybe a little more white. The sun is going to be coming down this way. This is what we're, or the light, coming down and hitting the face of the barn. I got some lizard and crimson here too. Here's our little pile brown, Prussian blue, white, some black, a little more white. And I'm just we're just mixing it all up. We don't care. It comes out to be a pretty good. See, this is a pretty decent collar. Kind of a bluish grayish tone. This is a pretty good collar. And we want to mix all of our collars up. And we can do it right on the canvas if we want. And I probably will. Let's take some burnt sienna. See, it's a little different collar. Because all we're doing is putting collar down. We don't have to be neat. It don't have to be real pretty right now. Because we're just trying to put some collars on here. Let's take some uh, crimson, lizard crimson, which is red. Let's take some white. Let's lighten it up a little. Take some more white. Put some white in here. 
Let me go around this edge and then we'll get us a one inch brush and we'll do it the fast way. I'm just going around this edge so I don't take my one inch brush and actually stick it in the sky. Because then we've got a problem, a different kind of problem. Then we'll have to redo it. This is actually the one I just used. I probably, you know what, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get a clean brush. I try to, you know, keep from washing brushes like everybody else does, but sometimes you just got to. And we're going to take a one inch brush and we're going to mix up all this nice collar that we just stuck on here. All these random collars. We'll probably wind up putting three layers of paint. This is the first, and then we'll, we're going to do some more after this dries. I won't do it today, but after this dries a little bit, we'll put our second coating. Then we'll work on some making some lines for our boards like we do, if you've ever seen one of my barn paintings. And then we'll put our third coat on. See, that almost looks like boards right there. See, that is perfect. That's what you want right there. Just by stroking it downward, you got vertical boards appearing. Um, let's pick a collar for the roof. I'm gonna do this one off camera right here. This will be darker than that same kind of same kind of collars, just darker. Uh, for the roof today, I don't know. The picture is showing kind of a kind of a burnt sienna yellowy. My brush is dirty. Don't forget. And that's okay, we don't care. Kind of a burnt sienna yellow ochre look. So that's what I'm doing. I always put my burnt sienna and my yellow ochre close together because I, I mix them together a lot. I got Prussian blue and raw umber here. I mix those together a lot. So colors that I mix together a lot on my palette, I typically put them kind of close together. This is Maybe a little lighter than that. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Looking at the picture, it's a little bit lighter, but it's the co main colors are burnt sienna and yellow ochre. I can plainly see that. Okay, let's let's mix some more of it together. And it's a good combination, man. I really like burnt sienna and yellow ochre mixed together. Real good combination, I think. My opinion don't make, you know, my opinion ain't written in stone, but that's just what I think. I think it's a good combination. And this is going to be a little lighter than that because the light is hitting this more than this. The light is coming down this way. See, it's the little things you got to try to remember, and it's not that hard to remember. It's not that hard to remember. Just go along, just um, feel this in. See, this is already lighter than that. I can see by just by glancing at it. And most of these barns have metal roofs. Most of them. Not all of them, most of them. And the collar at the top, this area right here, will also be a little bit lighter because it's getting more sun also. It's running at a different angle than this right here. So let's try to fix this while we got the collar on our brush. Okay, folks, I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to finish that, and then we're going to head down to the grass. Let's go ahead and put our grass in. Um, our grass is going to come up to approximately here on both sides. This brush is filthy, and that's okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to wipe some of it off down here on my canvas. We don't care because this is our first layer of paint on the grass, and 
it's all right it'll be okay see this is pretty dark right here and it's actually that way in the picture but i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna leave it that dark i don't like it that dark that's almost black but you know it's actually kind of fun putting just putting color on the canvas because you don't have to worry so much about being perfect man you just throw it on here it is what it is now the next few steps the second and third layer of paint that you might use yes then you got to be a little neater but at this point it's it's okay this is yellow ochre this was cad yellow light this is yellow ochre i'm, I'm using that I'm using right now I had to think here for a second i almost confused myself let's take some green i want this to, uh see if the light's coming down shadow this will probably be shadow area right in here it's gonna be a little darker darker than this by the time it's all said and done i'm gonna take a one inch brush and i'm gonna mix all this up once we get things the way we want them this will probably be some shadow there okay let's go back to some cad yellow there's not a whole lot of grass today. This barn's pretty big. Uh, let's throw some green in. Let's throw, let's throw some brown in. Maybe with some sienna. Just, just for the heck of it. Just sporadically. Why not? Uh, more green. I just throw all kinds of stuff in there. more green i'm gonna start getting to some prussian blue you want the bottom you want the bottom dark remember as things come closer they get darker see how if that's further away that's lighter as things come closer they get and that's almost in every situation almost i'm sure there's exceptions somewhere but almost every rule as things get closer they either get brighter have more contrast you know further something way is the lighter in color typically and I threw some alizarin crimson in here too at the bottom let's take a one inch brush actually got it sitting right here and it's dirty because we don't care not not right now at the moment we will later we're just spreading around the paint that's all we're doing right now, spreading it around. And you know, and I'll probably wipe this off. I'll probably wipe this bar off. I'm not gonna be able to paint tomorrow. Actually, I won't need to because this painting is gonna have to sit for two days. I gotta help move my dad tomorrow. So, it's, in two days, this should be plenty dry enough. Yeah, we're just spreading paint around. That's all we're doing, literally. Collar on the canvas. Giving us something to work with. And there we go, there's our start. Alright, let's start working on our second layer of collars on this barn. Um, as I said, this barn is actually pretty brown. This is really dark in the picture that I'm looking at up here. I don't know let's see let's see what some raw umber yeah maybe i don't look too bad raw umber is a really dark color and the side of this barn is really dark darker than i normally do it this is almost dry this is two days later i had some things i had to do yesterday and i couldn't get to it let's see what some sienna yeah see burnt sienna looks pretty good on that too so that may be the two main collars we use right here for now. There's some burnt sienna. And raw umber. We're just trying to mix it up and get some nice collar variation going. Let's see what a little ochre. See, that's a nice collar to throw in there. A little yellow ochre. Just for a little bit of light. Of course it's going to be dark up through here 
See, that's not bad. That's not a bad collar. Okay, we've, I'm going to go ahead and do this part off camera. You've seen me do that. Let's work on this side. Um, that side is obviously lighter. Uh, and it's also really brown. I'm not going to put any doors or anything in here yet. We're just going to go ahead, throw some random stuff. Here's a lizard and crimson. Um, I don't know. Let's try a little. Let's see what the color. That's Prussian blue. We just want different colors. It's a barn. It's supposed to look old. So that's what we're going to do. Make it look old. Let's take a touch of white. If these colors look a little too crazy, we'll change them. We don't want it to look super crazy. We want a nice mix of colors, but not to the point that it looks ridiculous. And that's really all you do. This is how you get the variety of collars on your barn. Barns are old. They have many collars on them. You just randomly throw collars in. That's the easiest way i found to do it. If there's an easier way, uh, I'd like to know. I just don't know of any other way. This yellow ochre looks pretty good. But this is all I'm doing. I'm just going to keep doing this. And then I'll bring you back as soon as I get this right here done. Okay, before I go any further, I went ahead and finished these collars. And I just took a brush, ran some black along the edges. That's pretty much all I did. I have got to work on some trees back here before I go any further on this. I almost forgot about it. How can I forget about it? I don't know, but I did. Let's take some raw umber. We got some trees poking out back in here. And they start about up. And I got to do this because I'm going to get the paint on the roof. I was going to do the roof and I thought I can't do that. We're just going to throw, there's a lot of trees up here, and I will be using the liner brush to put a lot more, a lot more fine branches on this. There's no leaves on these, but I want a lot of fine branches on this. And this one inch, I mean number one round brush that I'm using, it can only do so much. But a liner brush is real thin. This is as thin as I can get with these kind of brushes. So I will be using a liner brush. If you don't have one, they're real handy. I, I need to use them more often. I don't use them enough. They're real super handy for grasses, for branches. Anytime you need a little thin line, that's what you should be grabbing. And this is raw umber. This looks more like a fall scene. There's no leaves on these trees. And I think I'm going to put some brown in my grass when it comes time to finish it. Hope you can see. I know my elbow's in the way. I'm trying to keep it out of the way, but that just ain't how it works sometimes when you're right handed. And there is one back in here. A little small one. Back here on the ground. When, I, when I'm doing this, I'm twisting my brush. It gives it kind of a wiggly line. Because that's what you want. You don't want straight branches or anything. Um, I'm using a, I don't know if this is a half inch flat brush or a three quarter. But I've got to work on this roof a little bit. So I'm going to take some white, yellow ochre. This brush had some black on it, so it may not be real bright. And the top of this, 
Let's go along the top. Brighten it up just a touch. It's kind of, it's brighter up here obviously because it's on the top and the sun is hitting it more directly. So let's throw a little, let's make it a little lighter. Let's take some yellow ochre. Maybe a touch of sienna to go with it. But you're just, um, I'm just trying to randomly throw collars in just like we typically do. That might be okay right there for the top. Now this area is a little darker. Let's take some burnt, excuse me, burnt sienna, yellow ochre. It's a really good combination. Oh, let's just go ahead. Let's just run over this again. Let's see, let's make it a little darker. Just randomness, just throw stuff in. It's probably ain't random enough. Yellow ochre. Let's take some brown. Burnt umber. That's what it needs, some burnt umber. Yeah, see that makes a difference. It was looking kind of funny until I put that burnt umber on there, which is brown. I don't know why they just can't call it brown. Make things easier, wouldn't it? Remember, the more collars, the better. In almost all cases. There's always exceptions. I'm sure you can overdo anything. Okay, it don't look too bad. Let me throw a little bit. A little bit of brown up here, or darker, a little bit darker. Okay, that looks that looks okay. Now let's come down here to the bottom part. I've got to put some lines in here to repre represent tin metal. Let's just throw some stuff in here. Get some yellow ochre. Maybe a touch of white. See, it's your decision. Just put whatever you want on here. Let's put some white on this edge. For sure. Let's take a little brown. Burnt umber. I can't get any good brown on my brush for some reason. Let me wipe my brush off. I got a pile of paint building up on it. Oh yeah. Now we got some brown going on, don't we? Okay. Let's make it a little browner toward this top right here. Where the sun would not be hitting. I mean the light. Man, that looks, I like that. That's a great mix of colors right there. Alright, I went ahead and put some doors and windows in just to place them. They're not finished yet. We're putting some, we're marking the boards out now. I am taking some black, raw umber, so it's not completely black. I'm just taking a knife. You know, we've got to work on these, obviously, but you got to do it. <laughs> and I'm just randomly, I'm just kind of turning my knife a little bit as I'm going up, just to keep the paint flowing, because there's not a, lot of, not a lot of paint on this knife. But we'll go over these boards again, make them look a little better. They're a little bright, I mean bright as in the contrast is too much. So I'll take a brush here in a little bit and I'll go over them again and dull it down a little. Let me get me a 
dirty brush or a brush that has some dark color on it that I'm saving for dark color. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of these things you can just kind of go over, just hit them a little bit. It kind of dulls it a little. And then I'll, I'll probably just, you know, you can do this to just kind of mix it a little bit. Kind of mix it with the colors that are there. Hope you can see, I'm probably got your block. But we're just mixing, trying to tone down these collars a little bit. Just tone them down. We don't want it perfect. We don't, that's not what we're doing here. This is, this is a barn painting. It is not perfect because it's not supposed to be. Barns are old. I'm just barely touching this. I'm just mixing, actually just mixing. So it actually looks a little better just to mix it up. That's all I'm doing. Just, and I'm barely touching it too, by the way. I'm not, there's not much pressure. I'm just flipping it like that. We'll go over this again. I'll, I'll put collars in between these boards, but you got to put the boards on. It just wouldn't look right to have a barn without boards. This would not look right at all. I guess line here is really thin. But anyways, I'm just going to keep put putting along here until I do something more interesting. All right, I've been piddling around doing some slow work here. Um, in the picture that I'm looking at, there is no road. There's no road coming out of here. There's no road coming out of here. But I might put something here. Let's just see what it looks like. It's just all grass. I mean, obviously no one goes to this barn very much. Um, I don't know. Let's just take some brown white little ochre almost can't really see that can you let's just I'm just gonna throw it in if we don't like it we won't use it I'm just gonna kind of mark it out just mark it out in case we want it we like it It might be okay. I don't know. You know, not every barn has a road coming out of it. <laughs> but that's probably all right right there. That don't look too bad. So we might keep it. I'll work on it here in a minute. Let me just throw a few more colors on it real quick. I'm trying to get make it a little lighter. Not quite that light, but that's all right for now. And when we put the grass on, I'm gonna, it'll mess it up anyway. That's why I'm not real worried about it. Okay. Looks like it's about time for some grass. All right, I think I found a fan brush. I'm not sure it'll work or not, but I run out of fan. Many fan brushes I have are so beat up. I just can't keep them. And it's probably from doing grass and things like that. But let's start with some cad yellow light. We're gonna get this probably on the barn too, no doubt. And that's okay. Well, you don't worry about that. Let's just bring it down. You don't want a ton of texture that far away. Because that's pretty far away right there. Let's just shoot some over here. I want to get close to that barn there. Shoot a little bit over there. I'm 
Might darken it a little bit. Uh, with what, I don't know. Let's just see. Let's touch that right there. Just put a little, little something else in there. Just darken it just a little. We don't like it. We'll change it. Remember, this is kind of a fall painting. These trees have no leaves. So we're going to use a little brown on our collars today. But let's go ahead and do some uh, cad yellow light right in here. Maybe might mix it with some ochre. Just for something different. Go ahead and throw it up on your barn. It's fine. Because we know there's light coming across this way. This is a shadow. Yeah, throw it up on your barn. Cover up all these spots that you missed. I say you, I mean me, that I missed. Because that's fine. And we're just going to throw it on in over in here. Okay, let's start get making it a little darker. Let's see what the, still got a lot of yellow in it. I may have to take some Prussian blue. Let's see how this looks. Because we know it's dark over here. This is a shadow, right? We know it's dark back in here. Okay, we're going to get darker here. Let's take a little burnt sea in us. I don't know, I'm just going to throw all kinds of stuff in here today. Just throw all kinds of things in. Something I typically don't do too many times a year. <laughs> just throw in a bunch of junk. Take some green. Grass may be so bad, I might have to wipe it off the time I'm done with it. Throwing in so many different weird colors. This is Prussian blue. I'm going to use some of this lizard crimson I have just so I don't waste it. I like lizard crimson in the foreground anyway. This is pretty dark. You probably can't even tell what I'm doing down here. Pretty dark down here. Wipe my brush off a touch. super happy with it. <laughs> I want that a little bit brighter right there. I think I've probably overdone that. Overdone it, that means you got to work on it to fix it now, don't it? messing around with it till you get it the way you want it. That's typically what I do. Mess around with it till I like it. All right, we're getting closer to the end, but I think what I want to do is put maybe two well, I can't put two. I was going to say maybe two posts. You should use odd numbers. Let's put some kind of posts in here. I'm going to take some raw umber and brown. I'll have to wipe these off because we just put this grass in. You guys seen us do it. It's soaking wet. I'll put the posts in and then I'll wipe them off. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I almost don't have room to do what I really want. Well, if we don't like them, I'll cover them back up with grass. Let's put one here. If 
Put one here. Yeah, I'm running out of room here on this painting. I want a bigger one here. Oh, let's just do this. I don't, I don't want it gigantic, but I do want it bigger. That's probably big and wide enough. Let me take some collar and put on there and see how, I know they're wet. Well, let's just see how wet. Yellow ochre and some white. Not too bad. I've dealt with worse. <laughs> yeah, that's not too awful bad right there, really, considering we just put this grass in. Alright, let's take some burnt sienna, yellow ochre, mix it up. We need to throw some collars in here now. Something besides what we got. We got to put some collaring on it. Let's take, let me change my brush. Let's put some Prussian blue on the back side. Prussian blue on the back side. Russian blue is a fantastic shadow color. All right, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. It's a nice barn. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.